My background is completely non-medical and my husband was a marine engineer in the Navy. He served in the submarine service for all of his career. So I never really pursued a career particularly. I spent most of my time moving house and keeping a stable base really for the family and for our two children who are now obviously completely grown up. I've got two lovely daughters. Because he was where he was and in full view of the reception desk, somebody saw it happen and called the uh, staff who were on duty that day and they came to him and started CPR and managed to resuscitate him along with the paramedics who were also called to the scene. I found him collapsed and I called an ambulance and I carried out CPR on him myself until they arrived uh, but sadly on that occasion he wasn't as fortunate and he didn't make it through. I knew immediately, I, th I think because of what had happened before and all that I'd learned about it, I knew what had happened and I kind of knew what I had to do about it but I think I also knew in this instance that there was probably not going to be much hope of a success. But you, you do what you can because it's there in front of you and you just get on with it. Our role really is to bring the human element, I suppose, to something which can become very statistical or very medical or very matter of fact. Um, we're there really to help discuss ethical issues from a patient and family point of view and one of the roles that we carry out is just making sure that the language stays at a level which is meaningful for, for people with no medical background and that the feelings of patients and, and families are, are taken into account in the way that things are expressed and the, the angles that they come from. So it's really intellectually quite challenging at times because there's a lot of talk about very complicated subjects and it is a very complicated area of medical care, there's no doubt about that, but it's a, a very rewarding one to be involved with and I enjoy it very much. The big message to get across to people is that this is something that absolutely anybody can learn to do and when someone collapses they do so without any warning usually and it can happen absolutely anywhere, you could be standing in a supermarket queue, you could be in a a rugby crowd, you could be walking down the street, sitting in the park, absolutely anywhere anything like this could happen and the importance of knowing how to take action immediately, it's just, it's not possible to overstate that really, there isn't time to think about it, the quicker you can act, the better are the person's chances of surviving and making a good um, recovery afterwards.